Hi everybody, it's August 4, 2018. Before I start, and this will be a quick video, I have to um, just say that if any of you have felt like I've helped you, maybe helped you understand something or provided a service for you at all, if you feel like throwing me a couple of dollars, that would really be helpful. I'm uh, I am not doing too well. And any of you who want to leave a comment attacking me, I I don't know what to say. Um, but for those of you who uh, want to help me out a bit, I really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. And I'll leave my email address which is the PayPal account uh, down below thank you I want to thank the subscriber who sent me two articles well let me just do this one Red Cross financial donations not guaranteed to stay local and this is a Redding California it's a California news channel. No, and I've posted videos, there is so, you know, NPR had posted a whole series on the Red Cross, how it steals donations, the American Red Cross and FEMA, they partner together with every disaster, and wow, they come out with an awful lot of money ahead, and those of you who understand Agenda 2030, when you see these kinds of organizations like American Red Cross, and then you see, oh, five presidents, and they're doing a fundraiser for flood victims or fire victims, you see these celebrities come out, understand the millions upon millions upon millions that is donated doesn't go to help the victims. Does not go to help the victims. So, do your research to find some local um, reputable charity or do donate directly. There are so many people who are not recovering more than not. They don't recover from these disasters. Many go homeless. So yes a lot is also a lot of this money it's going to reshape communities for the mega regions under under the whole agenda 2030 so yeah it's amazing i go to google do a search what comes up first donate for every disaster donate donate the money is not going to help the victims. And then I see all of these these uh, people who make a fortune off of either false flag or staged shootings. They immediately have their GoFundMe accounts and Facebook and we've learned that a lot of them, wow, you posted this even before the event. They make a fortune. And those of us huh, who are dying, just to ask for some help, here on YouTube, you get so shamed and humiliated. Not from all, thank God, but from most. Um, this, did I thank the subscriber who sent me these articles? If I didn't, I'm sorry, but thank you. Yeah, I heard about, um, I listened to an Alana Freeland interview yesterday. It was the Richie Allen show, and she was talking about how she was involved 
in some commission, I think in Sweden, a commission that's looking into the directed energy weapons, the use of these weapons in the fires. So here we have an energy company in Greece, and I don't know how to pronounce it, um, EDAP, IDAP, YDAP, I don't know. But the vice president of this energy company is seeing heart behind the deadly fires in Maddie. And do you know, right after those deadly fires, that just happened, what, two weeks ago? Athens was hit with another devastating flash flood. People are getting so destroyed. So this vice president, apparently he has posted on his Facebook page, I can't get into Facebook. When Kafka Winston World went down, everything went awry. I couldn't post on Google Play. I couldn't get into any Google products, quote unquote. My email, it's never been the same. Uh, Facebook tried every password. I can't get into Facebook. So if anybody wants to check out, uh, do the research to, buy to try to find this vice president, George um, Maestralis. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Or this company, the vice president. He is taking seriously conspiracy scenarios scenarios for a harp energy attack, as shown by his post on Facebook. It appears to be where the company, or he, the vice president, is wondering if energy weapons are behind the extreme weather events that have caused floods and fires in Greece. We will say this. This is the vice president. This is a translation of an article, and sometimes they're not translated grammatically correct, but we will say this. Changes in the weather are strange and problematic, but even if the weather can indeed be controlled by other means, something that the most powerful countries of the planet have been running special programs for decades to do to, they do not justify the incredibly tragic mistakes and omissions of the state mechanism on the basis of which until now 88 people have been horrified, have been, this is a horrible translation. So if you can find that Facebook page and you can capture it and send it to me, that would be great. And if there's anything else written on this guy's Facebook, I would really like to check it out. Um, but 88 people, that's the number that they're giving. I believe the numbers are far higher. The numbers we're seeing in California, 1,500 homes so far in the car fire. The Mendocino complex fire apparently has doubled in size overnight and it's now threatening more homes and more evacuations. So the 88 people who died, um, property has been destroyed, thousands of others will be physically and mentally marked until the end of their lives. No traumatic events are very difficult to get over. And many actually due to circumstances in their life, that's how they live. But you don't hear from them. Because they, they're too afraid to admit living what they live. Because of the shame that comes from an awful lot of people. Or the get over it. Or the, uh, oh, or whatever. I don't know about Greece, but I certainly know about this country. So I think this is what he said. I've seen a lot of videos that have left me with my mouth open. There are images of parked cars that have stamped 
upside down from the fire. In other words, they flipped over. What kind of fire can be the one that can ride cars? How is it possible in the car? of the image to have melted aluminum wheels. Facebook post is no longer available. It may have been removed. Jesus. I'm sorry guys. Look, we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble. Anybody who wants to do more research on this company, the vice president, try to find other articles, something. I have no doubt. An energy company, the vice president, that Facebook post was deliberately removed because, well, they don't want you to see that. The HARP experimental program aims at studying the ionosphere for its stimulation and use as an electromagnetic wave antenna. Oh, God. And I don't even know if he wrote this. We will not consider whether it is possible to control the weather because we repeat childish mistakes and tragic governmental responsibilities are not barred even with an invasion. Shit. I can't do this over. I'm too tired. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, things are uh, bad for an awful lot of people, so... And I being in that category, just want to say that my heart breaks for everybody who is living this hell. All links are below.